someone's heart in one way, even if it's just one person, that one person needs to hear it. Um, what I'm going to be saying out of is John 17, which is the prayer of Jesus. Um, what this basically says, I'm just going to read the scripture, it's John 17, 13 through 21. What it says is, now I am coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in this world, so they would be filled with my joy. I have given them your word, and the world hates them because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them, so they can be made holy by your truth. I am praying not only for these disciples, but for also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one. As you are in me, Father, and I am in you, and may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. <coughs> and what he gave me was um, Jesus' is love, and he is truth. Um, he prayed that prayer before he even knew we were born, before anyone in this room was born. He prayed that prayer for us to watch over everyone that is in this room. Um, he knew that we were going to go through hard times, um, you know, just things that we thought that we would never have to ever have to go through as a person or things that we think that we can't even get out of. He knew what you have already been through. He knows what you're currently going through and he knows what you're going to go through after this storm is done because once you give your life to Christ, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be the best decision you ever made, but it's also going to be the hardest decision that you've ever made. So if some of you are struggling in here tonight with, you know, like, I don't really know if this is for me, it is for you because he prayed this prayer for you before you were even born. Um, as the song says, you know, the song we sang in the beginning, if our God is for us, then who can ever be against us? Amen. Um, I mean, if our, our God lives within us, he says that. He says that in verse 21, as you are in me, Father, I am in you. And when we ask the Lord to come into our lives and he asks us to be a part of us, he becomes a part of us. As he is in his Father, he lives in us. He dwells in us. So anything that we have gone through, that we are going through, and that we all will go through. He is in us, and he has overcome the world. He has overcome yeah. any trial that any of you out there are going through, that anything that you will go through. And if he's oh. overcome the world, and if he lives in us, then we have nothing to fear. We have nothing to fear at all, because if he's overcome the world, then he can overcome any of the littlest situations that you might think is a mountain. To him, it's just a molehill, because he says, I've overcome the world. This, do not worry about your troubles of tomorrow, or anything because he's he lives within us and that is all um also it says that you know like when he dwells within us the fact that he can't overcome he can't overcome anything any type of addiction to drugs any type of addiction to alcohol any thoughts of depression any thoughts of suicide anything is possible with jesus so once he becomes a part of you he dwells in you and he will give you the strength when you cannot fight anymore when you feel like you are lost with no hope anything i just want you to know that if you believe him if you lift your hands and that you ask for forgiveness and you ask him to become a part of your life that with him that you can do anything and that you can overcome anything and there's no reason for you need to doubt there is no reason for you to fear anything you just need to believe if you just believe that's a mustard seed your belief shows that you're faithful if you just continue to put your faith in him and you continue to just say lord god i cannot do this you don't have to fight you specifically do not have to fight he will fight for you through you because he dwells in you so you don't have to have the strength you don't have to be perfect because he when you come to him you don't have to have nothing because he can fill nothing you don't need to come to him with all these things like oh look god i've cleaned my life up oh look god i've done this this and this you can come to him with nothing and he will fill you so more abundantly than you ever thought possible that you ever thought and i can tell you right now that if you just lift your hands and you say, God, I cannot control this anymore. God, I can't do this anymore. You have to fight for me. He will fight for you. You will overcome because he dwells in you. And he's already overcome the world.
That's good. Thank you very much, Chelsea. How many of you appreciate Chelsea? Yeah. God has been